My uh, solar cord, all, all I did was use a 100 foot extension cord, one of the orange ones, and I uh, cut both ends off, put clamps on it. Uh, that way I have plenty of uh, wire to run solar panels wherever I need to until I get them mounted on the roof. Uh, I'm fixing to go out and make the connection and have it run inside and see uh, what kind of voltage and amperage we get. And uh, I'm not, I'm not going to open all four panels because that's, that's too much work and it's on somebody's parking lot. So I don't want to do that, but I can get away with sticking two out there. Just set it like this, fellas, like that and uh, set it right, scooch it on up to the trailer halfway, get the afternoon sun. But I, I think I'm gonna have to get one more battery and uh, have all four solar panels and I should be good to rock and roll. No more spending money on propane and firing up the generator, but we'll see how that goes. My intentions on doing that were more so that if I'm at a festival and I have to unhitch, that I can run off battery power and solar power and not have the generator. Since I have an Astro van, I have to keep the generator in the back end of it. And it's, it's way too heavy. It's like, I don't know, 350 pounds, maybe more, maybe blue bleep that in the comments and let me know how much uh, a fireman 75 hundred wattage uh, generator weighs uh, it's, it, it's heavy it, it, I can't I can't get it out So I never got it out of the van when I went and bought it where the delivery guy put it in the van for me and then I just opened the box around it it was way too heavy. But fellers, you know, hey.
the track soldier be much too wise strategy Of a brand new 